Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone. We continue talking football. The Carabao Cup resumed early on Wednesday with the final set of matches of the fourth round. The Sportsmax feature match saw a London derby between West Ham and Arsenal. An early Ben White own goal gave the Gunners' work that more difficult at a bouncing and vibrant London stadium. We picked up the action from the second half. No changes for either side. The will, though, be changes. You can be sure of it. Judging from what happened in the first half, still a positive one. Well, that's a great take, and it's a wonderful finish. Two fabulous touches from Mohamed Kudus. And West Ham now lead by two goals to nil. What about this? This is a masterclass in how to take a ball down like that. Give yourself a chance and then sweep it home with the second touch. That's magnificent in this campaign. It's West Ham on the front foot, though. It's Ben Rama who was waiting. It's only half away, deflected and in. this come from just that slight nick on the way through it's Bowen's goal no question about that but that's what did for Ramsdale Odegaard deflected through and Comfortably held in the end by Fabianski, able to push it away and get to his feet. West Ham fans will finish by singing Declan, what's the score? I think they've earned the right to do that tonight. Vieira slipping it through. Erdegaard does pull one back. Right. On the stroke of time, it counts for nothing. It means West Ham won't keep a clean sheet. But aside for that, it is the definition of a consolation goal. That's all it will be. Glorious night for David Moyes and his team. Master beats pupil in many ways. All right, so first time David Moyes there beating Mikhail Arteta and Lance, you know, so much storylines coming out of this match. Martin Odegaard having the consolation goal for Arsenal. Declan Rice, you heard the commentator talking about the chance, uh, about the chance from the spectators. And of course, it had to be a nightmare start for him at Arsenal against his former team. So, Al, the question for you is, what did you make of Arsenal's performance today? And they're now dumped out of the Carabao Cup. Well, the Carabao Cup is not as important as the English Premier League. And Arsenal are still pretty solid there, so they'll take solace in that. Having said that, today was uh, an emphatic or a resonant reflection of the, 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 the saying that we always say, goals win matches, because there was... Nothing about the statistics or the run of play that matched the final result. Arsenal dominated possession 71%. They had, I think, 142 dangerous, 142 attacks to West Ham's 42 attacks. And they had 83 dangerous attacks to West Ham's 19 dangerous attacks. So if you look at the numbers in the game, Arsenal had set themselves up for a victory. They just didn't get the goals to do it. So yeah. goals win matches. I think 
that was emphatically stated today. And then I think just to start the game on the back foot, Ben White with that own goal there. Mm. You know, I just think from inception, despite dominating in possession, shots on targets, all these mm. different stats, you know, I felt as if that own goal as well put them at a disadvantage from the start, from the onset. Yeah, it's it's unsettling when you're playing a match and, and you give up an early goal, period. Like yeah, and if you give up an early goal like that as well, it, it adds to the frustration. But one of the good things about giving up an early goal when you're a good team is that you have 85 minutes, 80 minutes, 75 minutes to, to repair the damage. And uh, somehow Arsenal just weren't able to get that done today. So hugely disappointing, not, not the most high profile of London derbies, West Ham against Arsenal. But um, David Moyes has to take a lot of credit because Arsenal are a very strong team and he found a way to beat them today. So um, he has to take credit for his first victory of Arteta. Yeah, and you know, you spoke about goals winning matches and once you get a chance, it, you have to, of course, capitalise on it. And today, Eddie and Ketia got a chance, but he just couldn't put it in the back of the net and it really... It came back to haunt them yeah. and, of course, costed them that match. Another match on the day saw so holders Manchester United in action against Newcastle. We have the highlights. So it is Manchester United in the red shirts and white shorts kicking from left to right in this first half. Garnacho laid off by Anthony. Casemiro comfortable for Dubravka. Hannibal had to be careful, Livramento on the move, Gordon's made a clever run, there's space as well, but it's Miguel Almiron! 1-0, Castle United! Livramento had Gordon, used him as the decoy, slipped in Almiron, and it's a super finish from the Paraguayan. He's now scored in four his last seven starts for the Magpies. Cleverly done, Willock. Tallow with an important touch, Willock still has it. Maguire got his head to it. Oh, good try! Great goal! Spotted a run of Willock. It's just too easy here, though. It's so obvious what he was going to do. Willock was there. Dallow got back. And then when Maguire's header only went as far as Hall, how about that for confidence and his ability? He could take over that goal kick without forcing Rob Jones to go to his pocket. And the pocket has been picked there of Amrabat. It's Willock still going to finish it off. And what a finish that is as well. The holders are heading out. And Newcastle are cruising through to the quarterfinals. Manchester United backed off and afforded him the space. He spotted the gap and then picked the place he wanted to find and did with real style. The holders have been humbled on home turf and Eddie Howe's Newcastle gain a bit of revenge on the team that denied them the Carabao Cup last season. Second consecutive 3-0 defeat for Manchester, Manchester United at home at Old Trafford at home so it's very very disappointed what's for sure is based on what we saw from Newcastle earlier today Eddie Howe has been getting things tactically right Miguel Almiron has been spot on for his team he's been the talk of this Newcastle team just the manner in which you know he's been playing the manner in which he's been getting the goals at the back of the net so he has been one that has really shone for Newcastle uh, where Eric Ten Hag is concerned he will be under a lot of pressure, Lance. He is already under a lot of pressure. Manchester United fans are not used to losing. They don't take losing very well. And I would say there are a lot of question marks surrounding how he's been handling the team. So much so that I'm not... Well, I didn't get the opportunity to check my social media because I've been getting ready for the show. But I'm pretty sure it might be trending Eric Ten Hag out. 
Well, you know, Man United fans are very unforgiving and very demanding because of the history that the club has. And uh, Ten Hag's recent month's results have been woeful. And uh, even though he presents a posture of strength and uh, commitment and um, confidence that he can turn things around, uh, what we are seeing on the field isn't, isn't, isn't reflecting that. So very, very worrying signs here for Manchester United. And unlike the Arsenal defeat, when, as I referenced, Arsenal are undefeated in the English Premier League at the moment and are significantly ahead of West Ham in the English Premier League uh, table, which is the more important of the fixtures, um, Arsenal fans would shrug off today's results a lot more easily than Man United would because Newcastle are ahead of Man United in the Premier League. Man United have lost half of the games that they have played in the Premier League already. So Man United are in real strife. Um, statistically, the numbers in some aspects of the game for Man United today weren't bad. They had more possession. They had more attacks on goal and so on. But they aren't getting things right. And uh, that's a huge problem for uh, Eric Ten Hag and his, and his team. And I'm not sure what the answers are, to be quite honest. And he's not sure either, Eric Ten Hag. Well, he, he thinks he knows, but... Well, he's confident that he can turn things around. So if he's, if he's confident he can turn things around, it suggests to me that he thinks he might have some idea of how to fix the problem. But uh, time is running out. Yeah. Man United fans aren't, aren't happy with these results. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, let's take a look now at the other results on Wednesday. We had, as we told you earlier, West Ham overcoming Arsenal 3-1. A 2-1 win for Liverpool against Bournemouth. What about Chelsea? Chelsea getting that 2-0 win against Blackburn. I'm sure Chelsea fans will be feeling really good about that. Everton, a 3-0 win over Burnley. Fulham, 3-1 over Ipswich. Manchester United losing that one against Newcastle. Well, let's take a quick break and come back. Remember, we've been carrying the Carabao Cup, so you... Just keep it locked and Sportsmax will bring you the latest.